Welcome back. Well, uh, when we think of Christmas time and uh, being a Jehovah's Witness, I couldn't help but reminisce and think about what it was like when I was a Jehovah's Witness. Well, we used to try to take the family skiing. You know, sometimes there'd be a few brothers, sisters, families that'd get together. We'd go skiing. Ski hills are always open on Christmas. In fact, they get big business Christmas. Funny, I was out at the big ski hill one Christmas and I ran into some Jewish people. <laughs> you know, so they, they go Christmas skiing. Another area is uh, sometimes you walk through a mall. Some malls are open on Christmas, but not too many. The stores are usually shut down. So skiing, bowling alleys. You know, maybe you live in the southern hemisphere and there's no snow. Uh, even here, we go bowling. Uh, if we couldn't go skiing, maybe we'd go bowling. We try to do something with the family. Get them out of the house, get them from thinking about the negative part of Christmas. Because when you're a Jehovah's Witness, there's a lot of negative information coming down the pipe on Christmas. If, if you've been watching our program, we've been highlighting some of the stuff that they've been talking about Mary. They've been talking about the three wise men. They've been talking about the whole Christmas scene in a negative way. And when we look deeper into the Bible, it's actually not that negative. It's positive and it's a big event. So I always encourage people to look at, at the positive side of things. Now, if, you're, if it's an unfortunate week and the circuit overseer gets sent to town, um, you know, and you're trying to reach out for privileges, I was always trying to, you know, most brothers are trying to reach out for privileges, right? Circuit overseer comes into town, so every, everyone's kissing a little butt, you know, because he's the big guy in the block. And if you were going to get recommended to be a ministerial servant or maybe be used more in the congregation, it's through that guy, circuit overseer. So if you can get out with him, uh, it's always brownie points, it seems like. Uh, for, for a lot of people, they fear the circuit overseer. You know, they're sitting in the audience and the circuit overseer is sending out, lining everyone up two by two, okay? And he, and sometimes the circuit overseers like to do that. They line, line things up and they decide kind of who they want to work with. And so you're left sitting there and it's just you and the circuit overseer because your family didn't want to come out Christmas Day. It's what happened, <laughs> happens in my case. So I show up at the service arrangement and I'm sitting there. And before I knew it, he had everyone paired off and there was just me and the circuit overseer and his wife. And <laughs> you know, I was not prepared for it at all. So what do you do? Um, you get in the car, you, know, you, you go out and you hope it's a light morning, a light day. And he says right away, he says, well, we're not going to do any door to door. We're going to work your return visits. <laughs> so you pull out your book and you're f flipping through it all. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you're going through all your return visits wondering which one. You're not prepared. I was, you know, you go, you just showed up, right? Normally you show up and you kind of go do your thing. You know, you go do your own return visits or something. But the circuit overseer is watching and he wants to see how you're going to perform. So uh, I made a little video about it. Um, I, I made this about uh, a year ago, last year. It was the night before Christmas. And um, I'll, I'll play it to you. Here it is. This is going to get off the screen. It was a night before Christmas and I lay on the couch. There's no point in moving or leaving the house. My socks were flung across a floor without care, with hope that my feet would stay warm while bare. The brothers were nestled, all snug in their beds, with visions of Armageddon dancing in their heads. Mama was drinking while I had my nap, after dealing with all that watchtower crap. The 
CO was in town to deal with a matter, and while he was here, my piece he did shatter. I wanted to go skiing and get away from it all, but instead, to us brothers, he put out the call. He said, you must get out and spread the word many of the goats have not yet heard. To help you speed up your pace, I have enlisted the help of an encouraging face. He planned a service arrangement on December 25th, and he stood in front of us all and made his big pitch. He separated the congregation and made several little groups, and when everyone was arranged, he sent out all the troops. The CEO and his wife looked straight at me, and he said, I will work with them, and it will be just us three. The CO asked me to take them on my calls. I sat there noddering, wondering if I had any at all. I opened up my return visit book and it was all blank. So I pulled out the territory card and I looked under an address and it said Frank. We went to that door and I said, hi Frank. And he said, come on in. And I looked as it made my head spin. I stumbled about in my presentation and soon the CO took over the situation. He skillfully placed a Bible and book. I could not believe it when the man just took. He was lonely and lost on Christmas Day last year. His wife died and left him in dismay. He came to the Kingdom Hall to hear the CO's talk. And at the end of the day, I thought the CO just rocked. He stood at the front and displayed the scene. It looked as though it was his normal routine. He set up the projector and on the display, he positioned the governing body and held them in dismay. First on the scene was the reindeer and sled with the governing body as the reindeer heads. On Samuel and Jeffrey, on Kenneth and Jared, on Anthony and Stephen, on David and Sandy, come quickly, come quickly and get to this hall. Armageddon is coming and we have to tell all. Well, I, uh, I hope I didn't bore you on that one. But anyways, uh, here's here's my one recommendation to everyone out there. If you're still PIMO or you're still in the hall, uh, if the circuit overseer is in town, make sure when you go to that arrangement that you're paired up. That when they say, anybody have arrangements? Yes, you have arrangements. You're all taken care of. Do not go in there kind of lost looking around because you are going to be out with the circuit overseer. <laughs> okay, well, that's the news I have for you today. And until next time, keep living your life with love. Bye for now.